Page six now, institutionalizing discrimination. Man walks into a grocery store in New York. He's there to buy some beer. He has his ID showing he's over 21. He has money to pay for the beer, waits in line, gets to the checker, and the checker says, listen to this one, checker says, no mask, no service, no joke. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, this is really bothering me when, when you see a governor like this come out and say, hey, he's effectively saying that you cannot enter a business and buy groceries to feed your family unless you capitulate to his whims. It is stunning to me the way Americans are treating Americans. I know you've been subjected to it. I've been subjected to it. Walked into a grocery store and people are screaming at me because I don't have a mask on. Walk into a restaurant. They turn me around and say, hey, we're not going to serve it. They, they won't even engage you. They just push you out the door. This is America. Graham, Americans have given up their rights given to them as a birthright from the American Constitution and have abdicated all responsibility to governors who are making fiat law willy-nilly, and a perfect example is Governor Cuomo in New York. It's the Cuomo show every day, and whatever he decides, that's the law. And for some reason, tens of thousands of businesses from big and small are, well, towing the party line and becoming good New Yorkers because they believe in Governor Cuomo. Doesn't matter what the CDC says. Right on the CDC's website is the report that says masks do nothing to mitigate the spread of a virus. Doesn't matter that doctor after doctor and your grandmother. What would your grandmother say about wearing a mask all day long? She'd say, my grandmother, coming from Italy, would say, stupido, testadura, meaning hardhead, you know, get rid of this thing, right? I don't know how you say it in Yiddish. How do you say it? How do you say it's stupid in Yiddish? Uh, there's a lot of words and none of them I want to put on a national show like yours. Uh, you know what's really what's really curious, Graham, about yeah. Cuomo is he's now saying before we're going to go to phase two, I'm bringing in, get this, international experts to advise me. Yeah. And until I agree with the international experts, New York stays in its present condition. My goodness, he moves the goalposts every month and nobody seems to be paying attention your rights are gone new yorkers maybe you should do something about it yeah and who's going to pay for those quote international experts we know who's going to pay the price that's going to be he's he's demanding that the federal government uh pay for his six billion dollar budget shortfall that was going into the wuhan coronavirus lord only knows how big a deficit it is now this is a scheme and he's going to make the American people pay for it. And I hope and I pray that the Congress, that is Mitch McConnell in the Senate, has the guts to stand up for these blue state governors who have their hands out right now wanting us to bail them out. And if he doesn't, I hope and pray the president of the United States says no with a big, giant veto pen. Barry, thanks.